that our service continues now as we join in an affirmation of faith. This will take the form of a, a responsive I question and there will be a response which is we believe and trust in him. So do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. And so the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. We come now to communion and a reminder that at the point where you would normally consume the bread and the wine, there'll be a time for reflection and a prayer for you to pray. And so the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because you give us the spirit of discipline, that we may triumph over evil and grow in grace, as we prepare to celebrate the Paschal Mystery, with mind and heart renewed. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise as Heavenly Father through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Now, if you're not able to partake of the sacrament in the usual way, here is a prayer to help you meditate on what communion means to you. There's no banquet so rich as the bread and the wine, no table. no mercy so wide as the arms of the cross come and taste come and see come find and be found there's no banquet so rich for what feast could come Less broken and shed. Here is grace to forgive. Here is blood that atoned. Come and taste. Come and see. Let us pray. Lord God, you have renewed us with the living bread from heaven. By it you nourish our faith, increase our hope, and strengthen our love. Teach us always to hunger for him who is the true and living bread, and enable us to live by every word that proceeds from out of your mouth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may God the Father, who does not despise the broken spirit, give you a contrite heart. Amen. May Christ, who wore our sins in his body to the tree, heal you by his wounds. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all truth, speak to you words of pardon and peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.